What's up everyone? It's Carlos with Toy Gigante. So this idea, I saw it at Target and I, I looked at this Barbie vehicle and I'm like, you know what? It'd be fun to turn into a G.I. Joe vehicle or a military vehicle. <laughs> well, the joke was on me because this was very difficult to do. You know why? Because this type of plastic is kind of like very similar to this glue plastic. Or it's probably the same. And this type of material is difficult to spray paint because it will chip immediately. Very tough to do. And uh, how I managed to do it was do thin coats of spray paint. And then um, wet sand it, another thin coat, wet sand it, and so on until it stops from uh, chipping off, as you can see. Before, it would just chip right off. It does scratch, though. So um, I'm just going to tell you what I did because it's just faster that way. I was going to do a step-by-step, -step, but things weren't working out. So the wheels. Let's start with the wheels. This is the original. It had the Barbie emblem in the center. So all I did was I flipped over the wheel. I took it off, flipped it over, and there you go. These are deeper, and they kind of remind me of the Vamp wheels. Okay. Uh, let's see what else I did. Uh, as you can see, it's really high right here, the windshield. So I cut it, and I lengthened, lengthened it a little bit, and I put styrene tubing there just to make it lower. I took the seat belts off and this this part out and I cut the seats a little bit and I fill them with uh, with resin in the back there's these are solid now in the back I had to cut them back, what, like an inch or something like that you can see the the lines right there and this is a really sloppy job on my end I I rushed it really fast just to do it but um you know, it's something that you can probably do with your kids or something and teach them about spray painting. You know, just a quick and affordable little project. This was about $25 at Target. I got this little winch thingy on eBay. It's for 110 scale RC cars. Stuck it on there. Let's see what else I did. I didn't do much. The steering wheel was up here like that it was up like that and I just made a new hole and put it in like that and I got the singer from uh, System of a Down driving it he's happy so uh, yeah now it's made for the Joes if you want like a, a prop vehicle this was left over from the his tank project I just stuck it on there to cover the Barbie license plate which looks like that. And uh, that's it. This was just a simple, fun project just to see if I could do it. Do I recommend it? Sure, if you want to learn how to spray paint, which I'm still learning. But I just did a quick camo style uh, paint job really quick with the sp spray cans. I wish I had my, um, my uh, airbrush. Can't find it. But uh, just a quick, quick little... Uh, custom oh and this i got it said bar it had a b for barbie and i sanded that down had a little barbie emblem i just added this piece so and these were decals that i put in afterwards and i spray painted over them so as you can see for a nice uh, four hour project not bad if you take longer like if you take a longer time on it you can probably get even better results but I didn't want to spend any more money on this because uh, all the all the cash is going towards the his tank stuff. So um, just a quick project. I want to do, like I said, a step-by-step. -step, but this is just faster and easier for me to explain what I did. I think it looks pretty cool, actually. It's not bad. Like, it's, it's um, <clears throat> a vehicle that you can have in the background of your Joes. I'm into the background vehicle stuff. Not a bad idea. Pick one up at Target if you want. 
They have tons of them. 25 bucks or so. Remember, you gotta wet sand the whole thing. Everything. And then you're gonna have to do light coats of paint. That's how you get it to stick so nice, or else it's gonna flake right off. And right now it's doing pretty good. So let me know what you guys think. Um, from Barbie to G.I. Joe, pretty much, to military, you can uh, add decals if you have them. You can go bonkers with this thing. You can add a... I was going to put in a roof thing like a, like a G.I. Joe vamp, but I'm like, no, I just... I'm good. I'm good. I just don't have the time. But uh, this is a little project. I just wanted to show you what you can do with with uh, what's available out there. I feel like... Um, why can't Hasbro or Mattel just, well, more Hasbro. Why, Hasbro, why can't you just make a, a vamp for 25 bucks, dude? You can do it. They can do it. Don't let them teach, or, uh, sorry, don't let them trick you. They, they can do it. They just don't want to do it. It can be done. If Mattel can, Mattel's what, the biggest uh, toy company on the planet? And then second is Hasbro. Hasbro, you can do it, man. I know you can. You just don't want to. But that's fine, whatever. So I'm just looking for uh, other vehicles to customize. See, it's already chipping in there. I didn't, I didn't sand that well in there, and that could happen inside. But it's all good. It's just, uh, I can, I'm gonna sand it, spray paint it. Here we got out back inside, and. Uh, let me get his backpack and things. You can easily put the backpack right there. No problem. You can put his uh, machine gun right there. Not a problem. There you go. Easily fits 112 scale. Easily. It's like it's made for it. So there you go. Another idea for you. All right, everyone, have an awesome day. Have a wonderful, awesome day, as always. You know where I'm going. So I'll talk to everyone later. And leave a comment, and I'll reply later. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later. Bye.